that we've got lots and lots of cloud cover around the area. Uh, I still can't rule out a stray spotty shower between now and our lunch hour, uh, but in our southern communities, give it till around 2, 3 o'clock and then your rain chance is ending. Clouds hang tough. That's going to keep our temperatures down. I mean, yesterday, oh, low 80s, not going to feel that today, that's for sure. Our temperatures headed right around 70 degrees, depending on how much sunshine you see, maybe low 70s, but I'm only expecting like a few slivers of sunshine later before the sun goes down. Here's a look at Storm Fox right now, and you can see some holes in that overcast already in parts of Geauga over in Ashtabula County Lake. Those have been our dry counties this morning. You go to the south and we've got the steadier rain starting to lighten up a bit. It hasn't been as widespread as earlier this morning, uh, but we're still getting rain in around Akron, Canton, down towards Columbiana, New Philadelphia, and we have a batch of showers uh, in the western basin of Lake Erie as well. So if you're out towards the islands, maybe headed to Cedar Point, give it another couple hours and then the rain chances will be over. The front to the north of us will kind of link up with the stationary front off to the west of us. So with this front around, cloud cover will stay around. But here's the thing, it will move to the south, so it'll stay right along the Ohio River Valley and will likely just get some cooler conditions moving in here on your Mother's Day. Good morning, Justin. How are you? So here's a look at future cast, your hour by hour. Just picking up on the showers to the south and off to the west. But again, lots of pockets of dry conditions. This is 2.30, still a few lingering showers in our far southern communities. Otherwise, our temperatures at this point right around 70 degrees with the exception, of course, of our lakeshore communities, low 60s expected. By 5.30 in the afternoon, uh, we'll likely have everybody dry at this point. Still clouds winning out, but some slivers of sun. And then partial clearing as we head through the night. That's going to allow temperatures to dip into the upper 40s and low 50s when you wake up tomorrow morning. Nate, you're welcome. Good morning, Ray from Edina. By 9 a.m. Sunday morning, maybe headed to Sunday services, taking mom out to breakfast. We've got temperatures in the upper 50s. We'll have some sunshine around. Of course, cloud cover winning out, but the clouds will be thickening up as we go through the day. Wide range of temperature, near 60 lakeshore, near 70 inland. So again, with winds coming in out of the north, we've got the cooler readings, uh, northern counties. So go with a high of 65. All right, so looking ahead here, <laughs> I know, once we get through the weekend, you'll need the sunglasses again. We've got lots of sunshine in store for us on Monday. By 10 a.m., temperatures already 60 degrees. So how much rain have we received over the last 24 hours? Southern areas, a quarter to a half an inch. Again, northern counties, <laughs> very light. We've had some light showers around and some pockets of drizzle. It's just been gloomy. 66 to 72 degrees, plenty of clouds, showers tapering off through midday. On the lake, two feet or less today, our water temperature checking in at 50 degrees. Tomorrow, not the best day to be out in the lake, three to five footers. Partly cloudy tonight, upper 40s, low 50s, depending on where you are, and then clouds with some sunshine around. Ultimately, clouds are going to win out your Mother's Day, but temperature 64 degrees. It will get breezy. Winds out of the north sustain 5 to 15, gusting to 25, and that's going to happen the second half of your day. All in all, really not a bad Mother's Day, just we need more sunshine, and we'll get more sunshine. In fact, look at this string of beautiful sunny days. Monday through Thursday, your pick day will be Tuesday, obviously with temperatures in the mid 70s. We'll probably issue a car wash alert those days, but we've got some chilly nights. I mean, our temperatures will dip down in the 40s. Our next shot of rain after today, that comes on Friday. We'll have a few scattered showers around Friday, uh, possibly lingering into Saturday, but that's at the end of the week, so you know that forecast could change by then. And by the end of the week, by the way, we're back to average in the lower 70s. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, even despite the cloud cover. And of course, I'll probably talk to you again on Mother's Day.